Welcome back to Pharmacy House Australia. Today, we have another exciting scenario that will not only assist you in your pharmacy exams but also provide you with valuable insights for real world cases. Stay until the end for additional study questions. Now let's dive straight into it. Hi, what can I do for you today? Hey, I was hoping to get this prescription filled for Varenicline, please. Of course, was the prescription for yourself? Yes, it was for myself. I am just coming back from the doctor's clinic. Could you please tell me if you have had this medication before? This is actually a new medication and I haven't had it before. Thanks for letting me know. Before I dispense this medication may I kindly ask what the doctor has already told you about this medication? My doctor said it's to help me stop smoking. She wants me to initially take half a milligram daily for 3 days, then half a milligram twice daily for 4 days, then 1 milligram twice daily for 11 weeks. That was all. Thanks for letting me know and could you please tell me a bit about your smoking habits and what you've tried in the past for it. I smoke about 12 cigarettes a day and have been smoking for the past 40 years. I have my first smoke around lunch. I've tried using support services like Quitline in the past but they haven't worked. I also tried the nicotine spray but it made my asthma worse and the nicotine patches gave me a terrible rash. That's why the doctor wanted me to try the Varenicline. Thanks. In order for me to be thorough, could you please tell me what medical conditions you have or if you are taking any other medications, including over-the-counter medications and herbal products? Sure I take the following medications. Thank you for letting me know. Could you please tell me how you are going with these medications? My asthma is well controlled and I only require the salbutamol about two to three times a week. I usually only get a gout attack about once or twice a year and I am managing my reflux well. And how is your diet and exercise? Do you drink alcohol? I've significantly cut back on fast food and alcohol as that made my reflux worse and have started exercising more regularly these days. And what is your liver and kidney function like? Last month my doctor said my creatine clearance was 29 milliliters per minute. We recommend pausing the video here and writing down what you would do next. Click on resume when you are ready. Mr. Day, Varenicline is not typically recommended for patients who have a creatine clearance of less than 30 milliliters per minute. Would you mind if I called your doctor to discuss this so we can ensure you get the most suitable option? No, I don't mind at all. Hi, doctor. I'm Brianna, the pharmacist next door. I have a mutual patient of ours, Mr. Day, who has recently been prescribed Varenicline for smoking. His creatinine clearance is 29 milliliters per minute, and as you may be aware, Varenicline is primarily excreted through the kidneys. Lower creatinine clearance indicates reduced kidney function, which may lead to slower drug elimination and an increased risk of side effects. According to the AMH the recommended dosing schedule for patients with creatinine clearance less than 30 milliliters per minute is initially half a milligram once daily for 3 days, then increase to 1 milligram once daily, if tolerated. I recommend using this and having the patient schedule a review with you in 3 days time. Thanks for calling me Brianna. I agree with your recommendation and will fax a new prescription to the pharmacy with the correct directions. Could you please counsel the patient on the medication and new dose? Thank you for your patience, Mr. Day I have just spoken with your doctor. We have determined that the most suitable course of action is to initiate your treatment with a half a milligram dose of varenicline once daily for the initial three days. Following this, it will be necessary for you to schedule an appointment with your doctor on the third day to assess your progress. Your doctor will then determine if a dose adjustment is necessary. I understand thank you. There are also a few other things you should know when starting this medication. You should start taking this medicine for at least a week before you stop smoking because it takes this long for it to become effective. You may feel nauseous when taking this medicine but taking it with food may help. After finishing this treatment, some people have found a temporary increase in cigarette craving, irritability and insomnia. It may be useful to have a fast-acting nicotine product at hand in case you have an overwhelming urge to smoke, like the gum. I have not used the gum before but I'm happy to try it. 
I'd also like to give you a fact sheet on some non-pharmacological strategies you can try to help you combat smoking and an information sheet on how to use the nicotine gum. Do you have any questions? No thank you. Bye and see you next time. Now, before we wrap up, I'd like to provide you with some study questions to improve your understanding of this case. We also have an intensive intern pharmacist oral exam prep course and a video on how to counsel patients properly. I'll leave a link to these in the description below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel.